here. I'm doing well. I hope you are doing well. And hey, if you came here from uh, the fake Mojave D on TikTok, you're welcome here, man. You're welcome here. I'm glad you're here. Uh, thank you for being here. And thank you all for being here. I appreciate you very much. But there is a fake, phony impersonator on TikTok. I just want to say right here, right now, that I am not on any other platform besides YouTube. This is the only place I am. Uh, I'm, if you share my my um, if you share stuff from 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 this uh, channel, I love you. Thank you for doing that. Uh, especially those of you who have put stuff from uh, uh, about this channel on Reddit. Uh, Y'all are responsible for, for driving uh, this channel up, and I am very grateful for that because you do it as yourselves. Now, this scum-sucking pig dog on TikTok is pretending to be me. Now, he's taking the content from this channel and putting it on TikTok with my face on it and my name on it, but it is not me, all right? He's a thief. He's a scum-sucking pig dog, and um, he is profiting uh, by jumping on the back of um, other people, you know, to, to pump himself up. And what really, really irritates me, I wouldn't have said anything about it because it's a net gain for me, really, um, because it has driven people to the real channel, to here, the authentic Mojave D channel, not the fake one on TikTok. I'm not on TikTok, never have been, never will be. I'm not on any other platform but YouTube. And I wouldn't have said anything, but he took the cameo from Arthur Clark, the actor who superbly plays um, Arthur Morgan in this game that we all love and the character that we all love. He put that cameo on TikTok with my name on it and my face on it, you know, impersonating in order to profit off it. He's making money off of that. Now, I deliberately did not request that entire episode to be monetized. Me and my son, we, 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 de we, did, we demonetized that video ourselves because I did not want to appear to be profiting off of the talents and the presence of Roger Clark in that cameo. So that's like, a, I don't know how long that video is, probably over two hours. Most of my videos are over two hours. Um, you know, uh, we demonetized it ourselves. I don't, I, I'm not that way. I would never uh, seek to capitalize off of the fame and the talents uh, of other people. But this scum sucking pig dog put my name and my face on that cameo and put it on TikTok, and he's profiting off it. He's a thief. But here's the other thing you need to think about, children. If you respond to that fake Mojave D on TikTok, you're opening yourself up to a, a possible scam artist, all right? You're, you're, you're opening a window where he may be able to get to information that you don't want him to get to. So I caution you about liking the fake Mojave D on TikTok or commenting on the fake Mojave D on TikTok. Uh, he's a thief and could be a scam artist and you could be uh, opening the door for that. So just want to make that perfectly clear. Um, be careful. Just, just be careful. Um, now, TikTok works differently than YouTube. The reason that these thieves take from YouTube and then fence it, they fence what they steal to TikTok. TikTok is their fence, right? Like in the game here, right? Uh, is because TikTok doesn't care. Okay, TikTok is owned and operated by a whole different entity than YouTube. They can't do that on YouTube because all we have to do is um, report them. And YouTube will deal with them. If they steal content and and uh, try to put it up on YouTube under a fake Mojave D, uh, YouTube will deal with them. TikTok doesn't care. Uh, uh, and that's why they use TikTok as a fence. All right? They, they go there and they, they steal from YouTube and they fence it 
on TikTok. You know, sometimes I think, I think, man, you know, I've lived too long. I've just lived too long. I was like, you know, Lord, take me home. This is just, this is so, I mean, I, I, sometimes I think everything is stupid. I really do. But um, if you came here from TikTok, you're welcome here, man. You are welcome here, and we're glad you're here. You know, it really am. The Red Dead Redemption community is fantastic. And uh, and and um, it's a wonderful, wonderful community, uh, and um, I'm I'm very, very grateful uh, to be to be part of it. To that you guys have have welcomed me in. So um, that's enough of that. So smoke them if you got them. I'm gonna take a break and wash this scum sucking pig dog out of my brain. This thief. Oh wait a minute. I'm gonna show you something. I I don't know if you can see this. Let me show you. Let me see if I can bring it up um, on the phone. This is. Uh, can you see that? You know, it's it's dang it's 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 all fuzzy. Um, this is the fake Mojave. Let me, let me see if I enlarge it. Can you see it? There you go. It says Mojave D Creator. That's not me. Okay, that is not me. That's my picture. Well, you can't even see my picture. That's a picture of me that he lifted from. The channel here on YouTube and and Mojave D and Harry Ascrack. <laughs> okay, Harry, uh, Harry Ascrack. <laughs> what what a handle, dude. Hopefully, he plays Red Dead Redemption next. I think he's referring to Red Dead Redemption one, and this sucker. The fake Mojave D most likely happening because he don't know. And he puts his big old, you can't see it. He puts his big old toothy uh, grinning um, emoji up there. I don't use emojis, guys. I don't use emojis. He puts his big old toothy grinning thing up there. But he's most likely happening because he don't know because he ain't me. So, um, you know, enough of that. Smoke them if you got them. I'll be back at you. And I got to wash this scum sucking pig dog out of my brain. This this uh, low life person of low degree. This thief. Out of my brain. So that we can um, connect with uh, the character we all love and the game we all love. I'll be back at you in a few minutes. All right. Let's get my big head out of here. How do I do that? I think I'll have to do that. How do you do that? Oh, that's how you do it. There you go. We get the big head out of here. And let's put the ears on. Or I can put the mouse away. And, uh... Let's ride. Sink? Sinking data? Why does it do that? Is this going to be all right? I better check this and make sure we're recording. Why did it do that? That always freaks me out. You know, anything to do with computers, um, man, me and computers are enemies. Seems to be working. All right, what we're going to do here, the plan, Sam, um, a lot of you in the comments Love you guys, man. In the car, I love. It. It's my favorite part of this whole ride is the comment section, man. I love it. Uh, stranger, northeast corner. Everybody say, go get that. And so we're gonna start off with that. I don't know where we left off, but we're about to find out. Oh, Angela, damn. Scarlet Meadows. Oh man, I love everything about this game. Even the even the intros, you know the just fabulous, man, just fabulous. This is art, ladies and gentlemen. This is art. Where are we at, Arthur? Arturo. ¿Dónde estás? Oh, camp. Uh, 
Beaver Hollow, 1750 alert. You know, well, okay, fine, have your way. <laughs> Damn alert. Uh, we'll take a peek at the map. There he is. This is the one y'all are on about. Stranger. And I am wanted dead or alive, so we gotta, like, go in here stealth-like. You know what I'm saying? And Micah can just rot in hell for all I care. Um, oh. Is this the dude? Uh, 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 this dude. This dude is the dude with the horse. What a wonderful horse. I want a Dutch warm blood, man. I don't know if they're all like his, but what a beast this man has. Well, we'll go up and do the stranger. Foist. Doesn't look like there was anything going on in, t in camp. All right. I mean, there's nothing. What is, what's the problem in camp? There's a letter for me. And there's food. Grub. All right. Don't appear to be anything else. Don't appear to be. What is this? Have we been here? Is this an island? Is that Guarma? I believe it is. Okie dokie. So, uh oh, I got a letter. Come on, man. Read your mail, boy. You have mail. Sadie. Oh, Sadie, you know, all I really, really want to do is it was sleep time with for you. Strauss to go. Sure, I won't miss him. There's a few others should go. Did to. I just say that on camera? Anyway, <laughs> lead to it. Okay, Arthur. Oh, come on, baby. Give me some honey. Give me some sugar. Not a chance. I know that. I'm just being silly. Don't, you know, don't give me a hard hour about that, man. I'm just being silly. Hi, Arthur. Hi, Tilly. Tilly? You ain't gonna kick me out, too, are you? Hell no. No. You we need. Yes. Okay. Guess I'll see you later, then. Oh, Tilly, you're okay, a sweetheart. I, I would never kick you out. Um, we got over here. Yeah. Why am I talking to all these people? I'm just gonna get myself in trouble. Hello, Arthur. Abigail. Don't you give me that look. So just like that, Strauss is gone? It's for his own good. This is done, Abigail. Okay. Guess I'll leave you to it. I like then. he said that. I now, guess. um, where y'all getting the food from? Because I, I think I need that. Let's 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 find the food. And then we'll read the letter uh, before the food goes away. You know, they put that thing on a short timer. It's like, come and get it. Up, oh, it's all gone. Big man, worried, really worried. <sighs> Me too, Uncle. What's going to happen, you know, to everybody? <sighs> I guess folks is going to make a choice. Whether they live or die. And you? I don't have that choice no more. I'm just trying to help others see clearly. That's my choice. You're a good man, Arthur Morgan. Good man. Well, try to keep your head straight. Uh-huh. Wow. Wow. Okay. Time for me to stop being silly. Um... I don't know how to describe that. Um, we see the turning point. We see the fork in the road. And it sounds like there's going to be a split among the gang. Um, it sounds like, that sounded like I don't know. I don't know what to say. It sounded like going to be a choice to be made. I'm wondering. Hey, 
Wow. Oh, wow. Uh, that was huge, actually. Um, that was huge. That itty-bitty part right there was huge, y'all. Because um, to me... Now, y'all know I don't. But y'all know you played, so you know. Oh, Charles. Arthur. That seems to indicate choose sides. Choose Dutch or choose Arthur. Is that what's going on here? Palmade. No, I want the letter, you boneheads. No, I want the letter. Dear sir, you were once very kind to Bo and myself, and it pains me to ask you to show us further kindness. But I have nowhere else to turn, and nobody else upon whom I can impose. I will, of course, pay you handsomely for your troubles. My family have turned quite mad and are threatening to send me away to stop my work, which they say is disgracing them. As if their history Penelope. of absolute moral depravity, utter debauchery, and perpetual drunkenness did not disgrace them enough. I must escape, yet I am kept prisoner here. Can you help? Most days I am to be found at the cabins on the plantation. The main house and all it stood for are thankfully no more. Yours faithfully, Penelope Braithwaite. Well, Romeo and Juliet, <clears throat> a flower. <clears throat> Uh, toggle view. What are we looking at? Uh, what are we looking at? I, I, I gotta... that up uh, what is that I mean I got to uh, what that flower looked like I don't know how to um, I need to get, get the image of that flower and like and like search it on um, does he need to shave oh, he's all right um, search it on Google say what if, I don't know if Google would recognize a picture of that flower and let me know what the heck uh -huh. that's a picture of. What are you doing over here, son? Look out, old man. So the supplies at the camp are all down. It doesn't even look like I have a place to donate or, or improve that. Um, um, do I? No, apparently Dutch has disappeared and he's got the, uh, <clears throat> the box. I don't even have a way to improve our supplies unless I go hunting. Hello, Arthur. Joe, you're back. Oh, Trelawney, I haven't seen him in a hundred years. You okay? Sure. How were the tropics? <laughs> uh, got half drowned, arrested, shot at, arrested again, rescued, tortured, uh, half eaten by bugs. That good, eh? Exactly. <laughs> Listen, things here. Is everything okay? No. People seem odd. Yeah. Well. We got the law hot on our tail. Things, uh, things ain't great. Hmm. I'm sorry to hear that. I'll see what I can do. Well, don't give up on everything just yet. Wow. Um, can I, I, do I have some food that I can give him? At least I can improve the food part. Could really use some good meat for this stew.
Don't you overcook this now, Pearson. I have quite a bit, actually. It all counts, Pearson. How are you feeling? I'll just keep consulting the scriptures. At least someone is doing decently. He keeps consulting the scriptures. There's been a definite turn uh, for the good. I don't know if I want to give this to him or the fence. I think I want to save those for the fence. Hopefully, this will help a bit. Well, we can get everybody fed, at least. This is all I got for you. Stock up on food for everybody. Save this stuff for me. I won't give my more of these. Can't have that pot go completely empty. No, we'll get. Well, at least I'll be able to eat. Um, without the box, I don't have any way to do anything about ammo or money. That's all I can do, Pearson. Many thanks, Mr. Morgan. Evening. You all right? Are you all right? Strauss is gone. It was time. Amen to that. <sighs> that was a, a whole lot oh, of stuff no. happening there. I didn't expect any of that. Um, Easy, girl. Really didn't. Um, a horse can eat current. Well done, girl. Wow, we, we, what? We had, we had, um, horse. Yeah. Dang it. Here we go. No, 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 no. That was an accident. Horse. Just cut a bunch of carrots. There was something we had like 30 something of. 28. Common bull rush. We got a bunch. Where'd we get all this? Peppermint. Peaches. Let me give her a peach. It's okay, girl. Star, sorry I stuck you with a needle there, Fantasma. Yeah. I'm sorry, man. Didn't mean to poke you like that. All right, so HL. Um, HL is flashing. What's that? E E. What is this? Newspaper seller, wanted dead or alive. I can't get on the ED. Edith Downs? We already did Edith Downs. We already got her. Rescued? Did it not? Oh, ooh, what's this? Marco. Okay. Um, I'm wondering why Edith is back. Uh, we, 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 uh, what's this? Henri? Henri? Uh, we rescued her and her son. They alert there, Javier. Did it not? Good evening, Arthur. Register that? Am I going to have to do that again? I mean, he was in the mine. Boy was in the mine, and we got him out of the mine, and uh, we gave him money. Hey, boys. It's one of them what hurt our kid. Hey. Hey, who are you? Push. Push. It's getting hot. Murphy's. You bastards. Um, well, I don't have time. Get some. Come get some. Right outside of camp. I'll kill all you. Right outside of camp.
died outside of camp. over it we gotta leave we can't stay here we can't stay here i mean <clears throat> good luck in these hills you need it. Damn it. come on boy Murphy Bread. I bet that um, imposter Mojave D is a Murph McMurphy Brood bastard. A torch. Ah, cute. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I would, I would bet you dollars to donut that imposter Mojave D on TikTok is a McMurphy. Bet you dollars to donuts. Do I want this torch even? Uh, can I set him on fire with it? <laughs> yep, yep. Right outside of camp. I mean, Javier's right back there. He didn't even come to help. How come I can't set him on fire with the torch? I mean, can I, I guess I can keep the torch if, and like put it in my inventory or something. Can we, um, no, I can just pick it up or drop it. Is there a way to, uh, unequip it? Oh, here it is. Ha <laughs> ha! I forgot we had the broken pirate sword, man. <laughs> Melee knife. Torch. No, it just drops. So it's like take it or leave it. That's kind of thing. Cool, girl. <sighs> Crazy. Um Let's, let's keep the repeater handy. Uh, let's keep the bolt action handy. Idiot. Probably going to have to leave the trail. We can't stay on the road, you know, because we're wonky. Hey, you're okay, girl. Dead or alive. Couple of guys up there. Horse doesn't like the howling. All right, baby, I hear it. I hear it, honey. about a thing. We got a 
wolf somewhere around here. been here I don't know that I have that's a candle look at that look at th look at this the detail of this game the, the artistry the art I'm outside I think I've been here probably I don't know. I hear an elk giving a mating call in the back. Yeah, I've been here because it's empty. Well, whoever it was was tidy. Most of these cabins are not tidy. Yeah, I have not been here because I would remember a tidy, uh, I'd remember a tidy cabin. I mean, this is one of the tidiest and cleanest cabins we've seen the whole game. Oh, good, coffee. I mean, he doesn't need any of this, I, you know. No, 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 no. We just closed it. You don't need to open it again. Um, Rum. I mean, I don't even know if he could. What? Rum. Rum. We saw rum. That's it. I don't, I gotta be real careful with what he eats. Um, <laughs> and he shouldn't smoke, huh? Um, That's what I was afraid of. Can't drink, really. You know who I'd love to see is William. I'd love to see William again. So that's where we're going. If we stay on this road, we're probably going to encounter the law. But we got to get off this mountain ridge down here. And then maybe I can I can stay off the road, but I don't think. But if I stay on the river, um, we should be able to reach this. Let's find out. 
But okay, girl. Old Mojave D needs a break. That's that is just that is just a beautiful picture right there. I'm sorry. I I I, I just really appreciate the artwork right right there. Look at this. I mean, I just. I'm sorry, man. I just love it. I mean, I know I'm going slow, but I just love it. I mean, I've been, I used, one of my favorite things to do used to be to take midnight rides, you know. I used to saddle up and uh, just like this, you know, where you've got a real bright sky at night, you know, full moon maybe, lots of stars, and uh, and just do this right here, just at this pace. And just go out, you know, late at night, you know, saddle up and uh, and do this. Um, not in the rain, though. <laughs> and uh, in real life, I'm talking about in real life. It's just um, I hear some galloping. I hear galloping. I hear galloping. Got to be real careful because I don't want to walk into a, a checkpoint, a lawman checkpoint. You know? I heard galloping. I heard horses galloping. Maybe one of these days before uh, I cross over Jordan and go home, I gotta buy a horse yeah. again. I gotta have a horse again. And, but you know, I can't do that if I don't have property. I need I need land. You know, I need to have a couple of acres at least. You know. Maybe two, two acres would be fine. Maybe one horse, you know. So, probably isn't gonna happen. You know, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to buy a horse and then have to board it, you know, in a boarding stable somewhere. I would want to be able to go out the back door and see it every day want to have to drive to a boarding stable, you know, and have it there. Yep. I'm sorry, I'm just rambling. I'm sorry, I'll shut up. Okay. I don't like the visibility here. Not liking this one single bit. There we go. Howdy. Who the heck are you? Uh, hey there, partner. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. You know, it's a good thing I didn't meet you in chapter two, because I, you know, you and me would have a... <laughs> this is where we got the uh, legendary moose and the legendary fish, isn't it? Let's hitch, let's hitch her up. Set up a tent. I mean, the poor man is sick. Uh oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm seeing a campfire up yonder. Or that's another cabin, huh? Um. Nah, she's okay right there. Oh, ginseng. Hold on, hold on. We want that ginseng. Uh, I want to hitch her back up just so she's hitched. Just want to have her tied up to something. And I want the ginseng. That's good for health. Where, where is it? Can he just... 
eat it? Would that help him? I know I can put it on food, but... Okay, I did help him. Do you have any more? Got any more of that Alaskan ginseng? We'll set camp up. Right now, oh, dang it, I keep calling her, and I don't want to, I don't want to call her. Up. I want to keep her tied. That's all right. Let's get out of the weather, son. And we will sleep until noon. And y'all smoke them if you got them. I'll be back at you in just a bit. Break. Uh, you know, I just realized when I saw that prompt that he made a new journal entry that we have not checked his journal um, since all these recent happenings. Braithwaite Manor. Nice drawing, Arthur. Met some charming woman and charming women in my time. Catherine Braithwaite, the mother here, the mother, the mother hen to that uh, particular bunch of roosters, ain't one of them. Now, you know about all her, you know all about her. Hosea put on quite a show until we got interrupted by the bastards we robbed <laughs> when grabbing stuff. <laughs> And his forbidden love, Miss Penelope, whom uh, we are going to have some more dealings with. World is certainly changing fast. Amen. And I have personally lived too long. I'm sick of it. I uh, met a man. <laughs> yeah. Char yeah. Yeah. Charles and I went looking for Trelawney who was staying in the roads. He'd been accosted by some bounty hunters who were looking for him, and the whole thing turned nasty. There. He seemed worried that there might be more following in their wake, so come back to camp with us. American ginseng, and we just picked up some Alaska ginseng. This whole place is beginning to give me the creeps. Talk about Pinkertons. I want to get back <clears throat> in the open country of the West. Yes, I do. I really do. Or what's left of it, but even that ain't the way I remember it. Oh, Arthur, you are my uh, spirit animal. Saw. So, um, Mr. Mason again? This time. Is that Mason? And taking pictures of wolves. <laughs> yeah, we went horse riding. We we went horse thieving. Our greed getting better of us. Believe the yarn spun by uh, one of that gray family, that patriarch. Tra uh, what? Tabish is an unpleasant one. We seem a reasonably unpleasant family. Yes. I want to get to the recent stuff. Um, Yeah, he's talking about the chainsaw massacre there. He found another body that seems linked somehow to the previous one. We got two, and uh, the guys in the comments told me uh, where the third one uh, is, and we're going to go do that pretty quick. Well, I don't know if I keep reading this. I mean, I want to get to the recent stuff. Excuse me for skipping. Um, we've read all this. Here's the empty town I found. Yeah. Got into a fight with a drunk giant <laughs> with a tiny head. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sean. Sure. 
That was something. Sean. Sean has been killed. Rest in peace. I'm more sad than I can admit. I love that little loud mouth of a wretch more than I knew. He's like an annoying little brother to me. Still no Confederate gold, but a shitload of trouble. That's how he ended that page. Ha! Yeah, we stayed there, huh? We moved again. More trouble with the Pinkertons. We burnt down Braithwaite Manor. I'm reading the bottom now. We went hunting, you know, for him. Then we got spoken to again by Agent Milton. This time he asked for Dutch's head on a platter. We got him to leave, but they ain't too pleased with us. So we headed to St. Denis to find little Jack. Wow, that was, that was quite a mission. St. Denis. We ain't found him, but he's He's found us. Dutch and I headed into town and I managed to get myself robbed by a bunch of children. <laughs> we better get the boy back soon. Not least because if we don't, Abigail will kill the lot of us. We're now hiding deep in the swamps, trying to get eaten by wildlife. Try not to get eaten by a wildlife. I cannot decide which I like less, the swamps or the city. Both are full of parasites, reptiles, and slime like the fake Mojave Dick Doctor D. Ah, that fake turd. Mojave D on tickety top. Dutch is trying to think of where we can run next. Yeah, he's always thinking. Guess we will find Jack. Get some money, then flee, but where? These bastards ain't gonna give up. We're a long way east. Land we know. Yes. Yeah, I, I am. I too. I, I, I don't... I don't like it out here any more than Arthur does. Uh, uh, I'm a desert rat, man. I need to be out west. Um, <laughs> with a weird fella. Oh, yeah, the, the electric chair. Sound an E. Boy, he, he, he's a good artist, you know. I think he missed his calling. You know, instead of being an outlaw, he should have been an artist. I have not ever met, I'm reading the last paragraph, met a lizard in a suit before. Only now, <laughs> who's he talking about? I always heard Sound an E was, uh, was one of the wonders of the world. If this is so, I don't care much to see the other six. <laughs> It's a depressing place that shows you the only thing worse than people is a whole lot of people. <laughs> Arthur, Arthur and I would be great friends. I tell you what. <laughs> He's speaking my mind right now. Help Mr. Mason take another picture this time. The wild horses. And he gave me a beautiful print of one. I found that little magician and <laughs> reunited this odd family fellow tried to give me the slip a few times, but in the end, it seems they love each other. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, took the shine to the fellow in San Denis. Yeah, Professor Andrew something or other. He's built, he's, he, he's built an electric chair as a kind of killing folk. Oh, God, yeah, that was a mess. Mary wrote to me. Wants to see me again. Oh, Mary, what fools we are. What a fool I am. Man. Before I get paid for this uh, nonsense, I gotta find a bounty. Name of Wilson McDaniels. So he can be humanely disposed of. <laughs> I mean, all that ended up. 
Had a crazy man in San Denis, a professor no less, Marco Dragic. I think we have that. We have another dealing with him coming right up, right? That's where we're going. That's that's the white. We got a white deal with him right now. Saw Mary and the awful dad. Who was taken to drink, which unsurprisingly proved him a whole lot. What a fool pig he is. Just like the fake Mojave D on TikTok. Foul pig. Taken to Hawking. Hawking off family heirlooms, cursing the world for it. <sighs> Still a stuck up son of a bitch. Now, Mr. Linton has passed away. I wonder what he wants for his daughter. Funny thing is, I love her. Yeah. Old daddy is a good upright man, and yet he treats his daughter like a possession to be mistreated and abused as he sees fit. Strange creatures, man. I don't know. All I know is that I love her. She both loves. Oh, jeez. And detests. Oh, jeez. You know what? I need a minute. I'll, I'll be back at you. I'm sorry, man. It's choking me up. Ah, sorry about that. Uh, the man, you know, it's a little too close to home for me. <laughs> All I know is that I love her and she both loves and detests me. It's too close to home, man. It never worked before and it won't ever work, it can work now. And it gnaws at me. The idea of it gnaws at me like a sickness. Can relate. I've got to give all that nonsense up. I'm an outlaw, a murderer, a man with a code different to ordinary folk. Mary ain't never gonna be in my world. Went to a vaudeville show in town, dancing from France, quite a business. What is wrong with me? I, do I really think I can retire someplace nice and live a normal life with a wife? Am I big enough dope to believe that it's possible? I am. Too close to home. And walk. Brother something or other was a good fellow. One of these innocent people who make you feel better about human beings and uh, even about yourself a little. Must be odd to see all that goodness in the world. The place always seemed dark and brutal to me. I went to an art gallery, it seems fine and fancy living ain't quite as different from life in the wilderness, <laughs> robbing stagecoaches. It was an exhibition of paintings by an artist I met a couple of times, Charles something or other, French, French fella. Uh, French fella has sums up, he'd been doing more, seems he'd been doing more than painting his models. <laughs> Her husbands weren't so keen on the liberties he'd been taking with his subject matter. Ah, oh, jeez. <laughs> Met a real pair of, well, I don't know quite what they were named. They're so ridiculous. Uh, I don't even begin, I don't even begin to try to remember them, but they they were uh, uh, Greek or Latin or gibberish pair of twins. <laughs> Dead keen on insulting each other and hitting each other impress a woman. I've done lots of stupid things to impress women, but this was ridiculous. I ended up <laughs> being William Tell. I think that was college boys. I guess education ain't always the answer to mankind's problems. 
Nice enough, boys, but odd as hell. <laughs> Man, a strange guy thought he was a blind prophet. Blind. <laughs> uh, saw them wind boys again with, whoa, wind, weird, weird boys again with the equally weird names. This time they asked me to give them a beating. I cannot ever try to understand them. I saw them two strange boys and the girl they claimed to love once again. This time it was real strange. I mean, it was strange before, but this time it was, well, real strange. They got me to push them off a waterfall in a barrel. They both somehow survived just about, but. Then they turned on the girl and went off together like, like two happy peas in a pod. Not sure what to think about the whole business. Ah, the mayor's on the knee mansion. My lord, now I have done everything I went to. I went to a ball like a fool in a fairy tale. The mayor signed the knee, Dutch goddess invited. By old Saint Senor Mon Abrante, and off we trooped, trussed up like turkeys for Thanksgiving, and waxed and polished and print, pr primped uh, to within an inch of our lives. Bronte did not mingle with the other guests that that uh, that lorded over the place like a Roman emperor. Blah, blah, blah. The place was full of drunks, lunatics, liars, clowns, but <laughs> the thing was kind of fun. <laughs> Met Evelyn Miller, the writer, which was amazing for Dutch. Met Mayor. Met the Mayor. Dr. Hosea seemed to think this dump is a world of possibilities. They want to they want to look into the bank and some other business opportunities as long as we can buy the loop. All right. Met that writer, Evelyn Miller, in the street. He remembered me from a party, apparently. My, my, my petty crime did not uh, go entirely unnoticed. Better keep my head down as a little better. This is helping the Indians, um, father and son, son angry, father with an air of what exactly? Something both impressive and frightening. The kind about him. A great man defeated by powerful and awful forces. I do not know, but his eyes, his very manner spoke to me. Talking about, um, what was his name? Eagle Feathers? Or what was his name? Anyway, somehow, I agreed to help them. Seems they, like us, have problems with the Gilded Age, the Vidican, oh, the Gilded Ape, the Vidican Cornwall, and his foul empire. We shall see how this pans out. Not this fella. I'll, I'll draw a wasp or something like that. Like, not sure how to describe him, but I won't forget him anyway. I would not do him justice. Different kind of fella. But he says he'll pay good money for assorted feathers. Kieran. That poor kid. We spared from the old Driscoll game. In the mountains is dead, killed by the bastards. Saved my life, and I could not save his. He chopped his head off, tried to kill it. the lot of us. Mrs. Adler fought braver than any of us. She's driven by powerful forces, I scarcely understand. That's that's what love has done to her. Her husband being killed by the Odriscolls, right? So love has done to her, I guess. I feel, an, I feel like an animal. 
living out in the world here. Out in the mud. What? The whole place gives me the creeps. I want to get to the to where we're at now. back there. That's the end of Callaway and the Sheriff. Took McDaniels in. Oh, God. Professor got upset, got involved before possibly killing himself with electricity. I never got paid a dollar catch me, I pray they hang me. I cherish the work of the devil. It's all about Bronte. I would not want to be Bronte right now. I cannot see Dutch letting this pass. Yeah, he set him up. Bronte set him up. And uh, we fed Bronte to the alligators. When a teach went to teach Angelo Bronte a lesson, taught him something, I guess. Taught him alligators have a nasty way about him. Dutch is torn between his dreams of escape and his need to prove something or other. I don't know. Not sure he does either, but he wants us to make one last big um, hand, uh, uh, one last big uh, of cash, haul, haul of cash, and flee for Tahiti. Retire, become farmers. Where the hell is Tahiti? <laughs> I guess they don't have Pinkertons there, at least. All them years we dreamed of being ranchers out in the virgin lands in the west. They're just up in smoke, aren't they? Now it's bananas and coconuts and long boat rides. From the ocean, from ocean to ocean places going along, biting, blah, blah, blah. Um, Swamp ain't natural. John Charles, uh, dressed up. It's, it, it, what, am I? Why am I losing my light here? That's a streetwalker. Wonderful, we'll see him. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, Charles. I want to get up to where we're at. Oh yeah, I can't let go. Which I could not find when we were fighting uh, these people. Say, uh, Lenny. Lenny got shot in the head. Marston got himself arrested. My lord, what a goddamn mess. Everything was bad. I'm jumping around. Everything, I'm back up at the top now. The bank job we planned so hard was a goddamn setup. Tahiti is like, I hope it ain't nothing like Warma, some nasty bastard named Afusar had a, had the people by the throat, and we ended up in a fight with a goddamn army, Javier nearly died, I nearly got killed, that's some real, yeah. For some reason, I'm losing my light here. Um, Beaver Hollow. Molly ratted us out. Dutch broke her heart. So she told the law about us. Explains how they found us so easily. I guess love does strange things to us all. Even stranger than hate. She turned up drunk. Uh, 
and mouthy and told us all this. She was so pathetic I wanted to spare her, but Miss Grimshaw put a bullet in her anyway. I guess it was right. I guess there weren't much of a chance, of much of a choice. This was in our new camp, high in some nasty country. Badlands. The place we were holed up used to belong to a bunch of murderers, the Murphys. Some nonsense like that they all called themselves. Called themselves the TikTok turd Mojave D, fake Mojave D is what they call themselves. We shot some of them, but there's more lurking in the woods around this place. Yeah. Apparently that weird sketch he gave me is worth a lot of money. Turns out I'm not. Turns out I'm not very well. Got tuberculosis. Doctor did not know how long I would last. All them bullets shot at me. All them horses threw me. All those fights. It was beating, beating a pathetic little fella Downs. That killed me. I reckon it's the only man I've been near was real sick. Begged for mercy and I beat the bastard. He died. Now I'm dying too. The way of the world. My mind is racing, of course. That monk and that nun, Down's widow, Abigail, Mary. Dutch when I first Dutch when I first knew him, Hosea my dear Paul, my dead Paul. That was no good bastard. The no good bastard is dead Paul, I guess. The whole crowd of people. And what kind of man have I been? What kind of man am I? What world is this we live in? A land of fury or a place of love? Am I being prepared for eternal damnation? Am I past my kind of saving? Am I past any kind of saving? No, you're not. No one is. But, uh, yeah, that's another, another subject. There's only one who can do that for you, Arthur. Is that all? Is that all fairy tales, man? And I got much good. I ain't got no good. I don't think, and yet I see goodness. I see it. Not a man and good folks. And Abigail and her love for Jack. And that silly monk. And Downs, I guess. Getting not, or begging not for himself, but for the poor. Even though he was near starving himself, maybe I don't want salvation. That's the problem, isn't it? Part of me have always longed for death. Well, here it comes, I suppose. Sadie Adler and I rescued Marston from prison. Where he was waiting, hanging. Spied on them in a balloon. <laughs> that was fun. 
<laughs> Amazing, awful, all the while I thought it would kill me quicker than this illness. Later, Sadie and I rescued him while getting shot at. I did it for Abigail, of course, in her own way. The finest woman I know, but alas for Jack and I guess Marston himself. I kind of like him. We've argued over the years, but I ain't grown to can't. But I ain't grown to care a little. But I. But I've grown to care a little for him. He's less of a fool than he was. <laughs> Maybe he can have the luck that has eluded me. Jack is an innocent little boy. I, in him, I see what I missed. We did it. Mrs. Adler and me and then got attacked by Dutch. I went behind his back some, and he never likes that. But I suppose the years of blind loyalty is at an end. Gotta love reading that. Loyal, yes, but not blind. Not until he opens his eyes. As it's the hell we are in see the hell to the hell we are in and who his friends really are Micah I no longer trust whatsoever nor do I trust half of them nor myself the whole thing is a mess and I cannot think clearly I'm right with you Arthur been a one legged man war veteran interesting fellow said to come by his cabin and we will. Found a raving lunatic. Completely raving. Took him back to the village nearby, Butcher's Creek. Something ain't right there. Something kind of, uh, yeah, that's for sure. Maybe, maybe approved, maybe appeared. He spoke mostly nonsense. Weird place. Something not right at all. For some insane reason, I went out gathering debts for Strauss. <clears throat> the whole business revolted me. My bunch of sad, desperate bastards and me their worst nightmares. I'd had enough of the whole business. So I ran Strauss out of camp. The whole business of loaning revolted me. Turns, turns out it's gonna kill me too, so I guess that's about right. Probably did Strauss a favor running him off out of camp, but either way, I could not bear to see his beady little eyes no more. Agreed, I agree. Sight of that poor soldier and his squaw wife will be with me when I die. That's it. All right. Smoke them if you got them. I need another break. Man, I really feel like ending the video right here. I really do. Ah, uh, hey, uh, yeah. Son, that is not a good place to put a fire. It's not a good place to put a campfire. You're right in a puddle. I mean, Code Riders, you know, when you pick a camp, could you please? <laughs> uh, you know. Uh, I mean, come on, Code Riders. Look, look, look where you put the campfire. You know. Sick, yeah, no kidding. Uh, yeah, I, I really, I really don't know. Oh, screw the bull rush. Oh, right, girl. Now, I 
match it ended. I mean, I, I'm, my, you know, I mean, uh, let's go. Let's, well, let's check this. Uh, I, you know, we've been here before, so I'll probably check this place. You know, it's where we got the legendary uh, moose. We got the legendary fish. All that. So I got it, but it doesn't look familiar. I don't remember. This is supposed to be our little adventure. <laughs> Where is she? I, All we I need don't is remember each other. that. That's what you said. But hey. Uh. What's this? You all right there? Who are you? Oh, it's okay, ma'am. I don't mean you no harm. <laughs> Well, it makes no difference now. If, if an outlaw or a wild animal doesn't get me starvation, well... Uh-oh. What's this? Your husband? Your husband? Is that her husband? I came out here from the city in search of a different life. Something true, something real. Oh, gosh. All this squandering and indulgence we wanted to strip it away to find something authentic <laughs> what a pair of fools oh, gosh. is there a train station or a town i can take you to no i can't give up now he wouldn't want that i i can't have it wow i'm gonna do this for you wow <laughs> lady Cal well, I'll, uh, <coughs> I'll leave you to it. No, 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 no. Arthur, she'll die. She'll die. Arthur, Arthur. Get out of the cutscene. Let me help. Is there anything left for you to eat? There you go, boy. Nothing. All right, boy. Let's go hunting for her. Get her some food. No, we didn't know the first thing about hunting. We... Well, Couldn't even catch a darn mouse. Help her. If you need her. any poisonous berries, though, I'm a natural at finding those. <laughs> oh dear. Well. Oh man. <sighs> you ain't gonna last much longer out here if you don't know how to hunt. Come on. Yeah. I'll show you. You betcha. There you go. All right. But you better not try any funny business. I won't. You know, I may be weak, but I still know how to stand up for myself. You have no worries, oh, I man. I don't doubt it. Come on. All right. Lead her to the hunting area. Tell me, you ever skin an animal before? No, but then again, I haven't caught much of anything either. Well, you'll need to know how to do both if you're going to survive out here. I am all too aware. Oh. So where should we head for? Uh, let's try in the trees down there, near the river. What happened to your husband, if you don't mind me asking? A bear got him. Oh. It was horrifying. Yeah. He survived, but only for a couple of days. Oh, dear. That's even worse. I buried him a week ago. Uh, I'm sorry. That's worse. This was really his dream more than mine. I'd have hopped the next train back to Chicago if he'd said the word. But now... I don't know. It's hard to explain. I have to do this. Yes, ma'am. Uh, I understand. Yes. This is a good spot. What are we looking for? Anything. Well, I think we should start with something small, don't you? I kill it, you skin it. Sound fair? Skin it? But I, I don't even have a knife with me. Don't worry, you won't need one. Now, take a look around. There. Look. Rabbit. Oh. oh, I have the pump action. Hey, stay quiet and still watch me. Oh no, it's hopping away. I didn't even see it to begin with. You? Oh. Got it. Oh. Good shot. Okay, I didn't have a 22. On. I'm Better sorry. Get your hands dirty. How do I? I mean, oh, this is cool. This, this, you can do this do in I real do? life too. Just you don't need a knife. Just hold the legs tight and pull the skin away quickly. 
Should come right off. It does. It really does. You can do this in real life. This isn't a video game thing. It's not quite like that, but you can do it. <laughs> it worked. That is all there is to it. You did good. I think I've seen enough blood for one day. Do you mind if we head back now? Sure. I'll walk you back. You did good. That should keep you fed for a few days. Oh, yes. At least. Thank you so much. I mean, it really ain't such a bad spot. You got a good water source. It's a great spot. Moat, but you can survive here all right. I have no doubt that one can survive here. Whether Charlotte Balfour can is a different matter entirely. You can, you, you can. You've probably lived your whole life in the outdoors. Well, um, well, why don't we, like... For sure. I barely left the city before uh, coming uh, here. Uh, 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 why don't we stick around for like a week and, and get her I set up? I get the impression they did more punting than hunting. Right. Can we stick around? Oh, Lord. No. We're done for now. Why? Wolves, stay back. Just to smell the dead rabbit. What are we going to do? I'm trying to aim the gun. It won't let me bring the gun up. Why wouldn't it let me bring my gun up? I was, I was pressing LT. It would not let the gun come up until the thing attacked. If you hadn't been here, I'd be dead now. You got a rifle? Yes. Well, my. I was. I, I was pushing you know LT, you. and it would not aim the rifle. Oh, come on, let's get you home. Until after the damn thing hit me. I, I, I was. I was. I was doing it. Here, it feels like every step forward has come with a hundred steps back. People always talk about the simplicity of I didn't see life. what that pelt was. There's nothing if simple about Keep it for her. Well, here's some more food, honey. Get back here. Woman, yeah, I'm getting you some more food. Come on, up this way. Oh, don't you want... You know, this is a lot better than the dang rabbit you got. What's this one? A good? Okay, we'll bring her the good one. I don't know what the other one was. Uh. I guess we only know what we know. Oh, please. I'm sure it wouldn't take you too long to adjust to a life of privilege and indolence in the big city. I don't know about that. I'm trying to call my horse. It sounds off. I can't call oh, a it horse. Is. A truly empty and boring existence. There it did. But an undeniably easy one. I still can't believe he's gone. Can I give her the wolf pelt? She can make uh, clothes with it. She can make a, a blanket. She can make a carpet. They're gonna make me drop it, aren't they? Well, you know what? I'll put it on the horse. Maybe we can we can give it to her some way. Nice location, it really is. Thank you. That was the first time anyone's done anything nice for us. For me. I, I since got we wolf got meat. here. Well, nature provides, but she sure don't always make it easy. That she doesn't. I'd invite you in, but I'm dead on my feet, if you'll forgive the pun. <laughs> Please do call again sometime, though. A good rest, and hopefully I'll be a new woman. You take care, man. Don't leave her. Why, why can't we stick around and get her set up? <sighs> Crap. She needs more than a rabbit. For God's sake, game. Who wrote this? <laughs> I see her. 
I sit here bragging on how what a good job they all do writing, and then I say something like that. You know, but dang it, come on. You can't just leave her. Oh, that was my target? That was the target. It was her. I, I didn't even realize that was the question mark that we did. What we got down here? What we got down here? Penelope. Uh, and over here we got Amish. Uh, Ham Ham Hamish. Ham I don't know how to say his name. I tell you what, though, guys, I, I'm emotionally uh, drained right now. <laughs> uh, uh, can we camp? Because you know what? We really should stick around with her and, and make sure she's set up. I don't know if it'll let me do that. And um, honestly, um, doubt it. And I don't care because I'm done. I mean, that, you know, it is, uh, it is midnight in real life. And uh, uh, I'm going to end the video because, well, just because. Uh, it's uh, uh, parts of that journal were were uh, were hard on me, man. And parts of those were were anyway. Uh, I thank y'all for watching. I appreciate y'all all so much. Uh, and y'all take care of yourselves. We'll see you on the next one.